Well, 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 it is another week, another week of excellence, another week of PMP exam successes. Lots of you have succeeded on the journey. I wanted to tell you right quick what you need to do next. First of all, if you've passed the exam, you deserve a huge pat on the back. It's not easy. As the saying goes, do not muzzle the ox that treads the corn. You deserve a PMP exam, pat on the back, a well done, I call it a PMP exam award or gift to yourself. So what is your gift to you? You've been busting your tail doing this stuff for weeks on end, months on end, some of you years on end. Come on now, give yourself a pat on the back, award yourself something, whatever it is. Some of you can afford to buy a new ride, award yourself that ride, you deserve it. Some of you want to buy something that is personal to you, maybe like some accessories. You deserve it. If you've got the money to do it, you better do it. You better take care of yourself. You deserve it. After all those sleepless nights, please spoil yourself a little bit. For some people, it's taking themselves to a favorite place to eat or their family absolutely do those things. Now, when you're done with all the festivities and celebrations, the next thing you need to do is sit down and think about the next most important thing to get accomplished. For many of us, it is perfecting the act of being a project manager and the art, the science of project management. Some people are certified, but they are not confident enough. And if you're one of those people who became a PMP and you feel, oh, that, was, that was a fluke, then there's stuff we need to do. You need to get real bulletproof and sure of what you're able to do. I'm telling you, there are no flukes on this test. So if you're telling yourself you're less than ideal, your second rate PMP, a second rate project manager, throw all that stuff in the garbage. They all lies. Self-limiting beliefs aren't just going to go away. They were there before your PMP. They're there now, but you need to tell yourself and the gremlins as my mentor of a while ago, Ed DeCosta would say on the John Maxwell team, he'll say, you got a gremlin right here talking to you, talking smack to you. You gotta flick that gremlin off your shoulder, my friend. Stop thinking that you're less than ideal. You're not good enough as a project management professional. And even if you're not a project management professional, maybe the gremlin on your shoulder is saying you can't do this. Who do you think you are? Even your boss can get certified. Flick that gremlin far off your shoulder. Because I tell you, if you've been in that ridiculous, dingy, dimlit room, in those crazy Alcatraz test centers, you are as much a PMP as I am and anyone else. So you need to be telling yourself, reminding yourself, I am a boss. I'm not a mouse. I'm a boss. You need to tell yourself that you've proven yourself and earned your stripes. So get to that level of thinking. Stop looking like, who, me? Yes, you. Yes. Yes. So boss up. Step into the place that you have proven that you can occupy. And you know what that means? Confidence. You have proven yourself. Now what you need to do next is solidify your comfort. Some of you aren't comfortable saying you're a PMP. You get scared when you're asked to do things. Stop that behavior. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You know the way I see you as a PMP? I see you as being able to take over entire project management departments. So what is that project you're looking at and thinking is greater than you? It is not. This should be a boost to your confidence as a project manager. But you still got to bring it. You still got to deliver. So I want you to solidify your understanding of these knowledge areas. Integration. 
what does it mean in a pragmatic setting? When I say integration, what does it mean? What does it mean to my projects? What does it mean to the program? If there is one that my project is attached to, what does it mean to the organization? Do we do a good job of integrating? These are questions that you really need to sit down and ask yourself. What about scope? Do we scope out the project well? Do we even collect requirements? Probably not. Maybe the requirements are given to you and you just take them without asking further probing questions, without prototypes, without interviews or focus groups or facilitated workshops, without any questionnaires or surveys. Some of you could benefit from a whole lot of context diagrams being used or a logical data model because data is being siphoned away from your company and you've got quality issues regarding data. This is how you need to be thinking about what you know, the pragmatism of it. Getting certified is great, but can you pragmatize what you have been given a stamp of approval for? That's what my question to you today is. So to get to the next level, you need coaching, you need training, you need mentoring, okay? Training in project management to reinforce what you already know, coaching to blow the lid off the obstacles with you doing the lid blowing, but your coach helping you to see the way out. And some of you need mentoring, a good old session with a project manager, program manager who has been there, done that, and can tell you, based on your immediate needs, this is what you should do. And all three are important, training, coaching, mentoring, they're all important. Now, I offer all of those. My question to you is, how can I help you? If you're stuck, don't stay in a stuck state. It stinks. Let me help you. Go to pmsucceed.com and look for the one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring. And if you truly mean business with your career on the next level, on the next level, you need to let me help you whether you're program manager, project manager, portfolio manager, head of a department, whatever you are, let me help you to blow the lid off those obstacles. You'll do the lid blowing and I'll give you the leverage to do it. The ideas, the possibilities. Because a lot of you are suffering in silence. You don't know how to get to the next level. There are ways to get to the next level. But everybody needs a coach. Everyone needs someone in their corner. I will be there in your corner to help you. You're certified, it's great, but I'm not satisfied at you being certified. I need you on the next level. I need you bad on the next level. It's not enough to just be the PM in the little corner. Don't you wanna grow? Don't you want to expand? Don't you want to leave a legacy in your company? Or is that all there is to it? Is, is, is that why you got certified? Just to get a piece of cardboard and file it in your cabinet? Or do you really want to change the world that you live in? Do you really want to change your environment? And you need to stop playing Mickey and Minnie Mouse games. Boss up, my friend. The next level requires acceleration. Coaching, training, mentoring, it helps you. So being a PMP is one thing, okay? But you need to go to the next level. You need to define your next level and you need to aspire to get to it on a daily basis. So I'm the voice of reason here for you. I know a lot of people would applaud you on getting certified and I do applaud you, but that's not all. There's more, a lot more, many bigger things to do even in project management. So first of all, reinforce your position. Know that you are a capable force to be reckoned with. Secondly, begin to train, coach, mentor yourself through the help and assistance of people like me. And next, begin to be a river, if you're not already a river. All the things you went through to get certified, give back help other people. Do you know your lessons learned are priceless about how you were able to get to where you are? Mentor other people in the PMP realm. Mentor other project managers. 
and don't stop learning. Some of you are horrendous at scheduling. Some of you can't even build a WBS to save your lives. Some of you forget risk. You're not even using a risk register. Some of you still think quantitative risk analysis is qualitative risk analysis. No, no. You need to get reinforcement. And the way to get reinforcement, like I said, training, coaching, mentoring. Can you learn by self-study? Of course, that's training. You can do it alone, self-study. But sometimes you need a coach to move you forward. Sometimes you need to rub minds with a more advanced mind to come away with more advanced ideas. And that's what I've experienced in my career until I got affiliated with John Maxwell. My ideas of leadership were stunted until I got affiliated with Dr. David Hilson. My perception of risk was not as robust as it is today until I started studying the work of Dr. Rick Brinkman, my understanding of personality typing was extremely distorted. The way I perceived the Myers-Briggs and the DISC models was utterly distorted. When I studied his work, I then was able to put things in context and not get hung up on personality typing. And these are all coaching and mentoring avenues that I've been able to tap into. The same token you guys need, mentoring, coaching, training. It will help you. Trust me, PMP is great, but there's greater. One of the greatest project managers, program managers that I know did not finish high school. That's right. Did not finish high school. This individual has built a multi-million empire and was not within the walls of a university. Did not even finish high school. Did not exit high school. What does that tell you? Project and program management are not a piece of paper, are not a certification. It's an elevation in your comprehension, in your awareness, and in your ability. So going through the PMP exam is great. It's a stamp of approval, but it's all about the action, my friend. What are you going to do with it? What are you doing with it? Okay. I wish you all the very best and I look forward to seeing you in some of these coaching programs, training programs. Go to pmsuccee.com. That's P-M-S-U-C-C-E-E-D.com. Take care. If you haven't subscribed, look for the button somewhere. You'll see a subscribe button. And don't forget to hit like and share with your friends who are project managers as well. Bye for now.